Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. We will meet, we meet again with Cikgu Peja. Today we will uh, learn uh, in science form 1 chapter 5. That is matter in sub chapter 5.1 matter in nature. Let's look what we will learn today. Okay, today uh, we will state at this uh, at end of this uh, lesson we will you will state uh, that almost everything that exists in nature is matter. Proof that living thing and non-living thing has mass and occupy space. And third, uh, we will differentiate the, dif uh, the physical properties of and chemical properties of matter. And also, we will classify material by the different characteristics. Okay, hope you are ready. Okay, what is matter? There is two characteristic, two major characteristic of a matter. That is, it must has mass, and second, it must occupy space. Okay, this is an example of matter. Okay, almost all living thing, including human, plant, animal, are classified as matter. We can see there is onion, uh, there is food, and there is a cloud, water. Uh, bowl and this is a vegetables and this is matter okay this is matter uh, ataupun dalam bahasa melayu dia jirim okay in malay we call it jirim okay what is jirim jirim mesti me, apa uh, mempunyai jisim dan juga memenuhi ruang okay okay non living thing such as water this is non living thing water is non living thing it has no soul uh, soil rock air also matter okay so what is non matter okay non matter is thing that has no mass as doesn't fill a volume okay for example vacuum okay vacuum Vacuum. You know what is vacuum? Vacuum, uh, some is there is no air in vacuum. That means it has no mass. Okay. Okay. Energy. Okay. Time. Feeling. Heat. And this is another example of non matter. It's, it's not not a matter such as rainbow. We can see a rainbow, but we can touch the rainbow. We can see light, we can see, he we can feel heat, but we cannot touch it. It has no matter, no physical state, okay? And also, it has no, uh, no mass, okay? Memory, time, also reflection, and also feeling, love, uh, hate, angry, it's not a matter, okay? Let's look about uh, physical properties of matter. Okay. What is physical properties? Physical mean uh, we can identify it by using our five senses and also by using, uh, you can, uh, we can uh, determine it by using measuring tools. Okay. Such that uh, 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 temperature by using temperature by using uh, thermometer. Uh, pH meter to determine the uh, the pH value. Okay, so that is physical properties. That means we can see it. We we didn't uh, do anything to it, but we can uh, uh, we can use our five sense and also measuring tool to determine it. Okay, uh, deep, it's depend on the type and of the material and it's made of what is made of. Okay, this is a Example of physical properties of matter. Okay, we can see water. Okay, liquid. Okay, water. Water has boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, different liquid has different boiling point. Uh, not every liquid, not every liquid has 100 degrees Celsius as the boiling point. Okay, sugar can dissolve in coffee. This is uh, physical properties of uh, sugar. And also, this is a, in, we call it insul insulator, heat insulator. This is a, a handle of a pen. Uh, it made from 
metal that is plastic okay or silicon okay we have also pen okay pen is a heat conductor this is a physical properties heat conductor uh, it uh, by it is uh, made by uh, it made from steel or iron okay and we have also ice uh, ice has a melting point uh, that is changed from in uh, from uh, from solid to liquid uh, at a certain uh, pressure okay this is a physical state this is a physical properties okay physical properties of matter okay we can see we can touch we can uh, using our five sense we can smell smell okay uh, we can uh, touch it so it has it's called physical properties okay let's move to chemical properties what is chemical properties of matter okay chemical properties are the properties of a substance that become evident when it change to a new substance okay it depends on the reaction that occur upon the substance okay such that rusty okay iron is rusting when it exposed to water and air okay rusting it's become uh, it's uh, come from iron and it become rust there is another substance uh, uh, another substance that is, is uh, uh, it's changed from another substance to another substance okay petrol petrol is a flammable metal okay now uh, petrol become car carbon dioxide and water when it's burning okay so it is chemical properties okay it's changed from another uh, from one uh, substance to another substance okay okay let's move uh, to how we can classify material by their different characteristic okay this is a picture of salt field in kanchaburi thailand okay salt field salt field that mean uh, we salt salt uh, garam ladang garam okay ladang garam in kanchaburi thailand okay salt and sea water okay salt and sea water has different boiling point it has different boiling point so water will evaporate into water vapor as its boiling point is lower than salt so to get salt just try the sea water and salt crystal we left behind okay then mm, they process the salt to make it uh, consumable okay another uh, physical uh, we can classify we can also classify material by using their different characteristics such that density, melting point, and also boiling point, and solubility. Okay, this is uh, for, uh, for classification we can use uh, to classify uh, material. Okay, let's look to density. Okay. The density of a matter is the mass per unit volume, mass per unit volume, okay, of that material. Density to determine the ability of a material to float or sink in other substance, okay, such that water, okay. A material that has lower density will float, while a material that has higher density will sink, okay. Look at this example. Oil and water, we know that oil will float on water. That's mean, that's mean uh, oil is less dense than water. And water has more dense than oil. Okay? This is another example of uh, two materials that has uh, different density. If we uh, look at this, glycerol and water, okay glycerol and water glycerol has higher density than water mercury has uh, higher density than petrol sands has higher density than water 
oil has dense than cork. That means uh, glycerol and water, glycerol will uh, will sink in water. Water will water will uh, float on glycerol. Okay, this is example of density. Okay, let's move to uh, melting and boiling point. Melting point is a temperature which substance seen from solid to liquid. Okay, solid to liquid, we temperature need to uh, highlight that word temperature. That substance change from solid to liquid, we call it melting point. While boiling point is temperature of a substance change it state from liquid to gas okay you need to remember this uh, this two uh, this two term okay melting point and boiling point okay let's look at this uh, example iron at 1536 degrees celsius and ice melt at 0 degrees celsius that means iron has melting point 1536 degrees celsius and ice the melting point of ice is zero degrees celsius while water boil we know that water boil at 100 degrees celsius that means water has boiling point that is 100 degrees celsius this is another example of melting point uh, and boiling point of some substance or alcohol we have uh, its melting point is negative 117 and its boiling point is 78 uh, degrees celsius copper has melting point 1085 and it has boiling point 2562 that means uh, we have uh, copper in a solid state uh, in room temperature in room temperature also oxygen uh, we know oxygen is gas uh, in room temperature why because it melting point is negative 280 degree but it boiling point is negative 183 this is um, melting and boiling point at one atmosphere the temperature the pressure of the uh, the surrounding is one atmosphere this is the melting point but the lower the uh, the lower the pressure or the higher the pressure it make uh, the melting point and boiling point also uh, differ okay let's move to solubility okay solubility is a ability an ability of a substance to dissolve in a given amount of solvent to form a solution okay the solubility of a substance depends on the physical and chemical properties of its solute and solvent. I'm telling you about solute and solvent. What is solute? Solute is a substance that dissolves in solvent, while solvent is a substance that is able to dissolve the solute. Okay, for example, sugar and coffee. Which one is solute and solvent? Yes, sugar is a solute while coffee is a solvent because coffee will uh, solute will uh, will dissolve sugar in its uh, solution. So it become a coffee solution. Okay, solution is mixture of solute and solvent. Okay, this is a uh, so uh, that's all for today. Now we move to exercise. So look at your textbook at page 184, eh, 44, uh, and do formative practice 5.1 and send your answer to Google Classroom. Okay, I have also prepared for you um, quizy uh, in Google Classroom and I want you to do that. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you and happy learning. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.